Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's reading, we are going to see what will happen after Band-Aid. How is life going to be like? What's new? Are you still going to be in the basement for six months after getting Band-Aid? Let's go and see. Hello, Pile 1. I see good things here. First I see that a lot of you guys are in a strict household where you can't really have the freedom to do what you like or want. After getting band-aid by your yandir, you will have the opportunity to do whatever you want and live your luxury lifestyle. As I do see that you guys are manifesting a rich yandir, you have your own money and you choose to live however you want to live with your partner. About your relationship, the dynamic with your partner is that, yeah, they are going to be very overprotective and it can be annoying sometimes. But they do that for your safety, and they love and care about you to a personal level. But overall, you will be fulfilled leaving your strict household and being able to do what you want and live how you want to live. That's all I'm on to pile to now. Hello, pile 2. What will happen to you after getting band-aid by your yandir? Is that, first I want to say that, I am seeing that no matter what you are, meant to get band-aid by your yandir, because you manifested that, and now it's meant to be your reality. You are going to be very happy about the manifestation and you're going to be very grateful for it. I see that you are going to live fine, I see that you don't have to worry about money or anything, because your partner is the one who is working and you are like stay-at-home wife for them. I see that you're manifesting a partner that is very dominant and masculine, and they would show their lovesick behavior and obsession behavior to you. And they are not shy about it, even if the behavior can be kinda toxic. I see that you will not be leaving the house 24 7 Your partner doesn't want you to go outside because they worry about your safety, but they will let you out some time to time here and there, but I think it's not going to be often. I see that you guys are using this subliminal, and it's going to come true. And if you are seeing angel number 1010 it's a sign from your yandir. That's honestly all from the reading. I'm on to pile 3 now. Hello, pile 3. What will happen to you after getting band-aid by your yandir? Is that, you are going to be very happy about it, at first, but then you would slowly and slowly start regretting the choice you made. That is for some of you, some of you really need to think about this, is this really what you want? Is this really what you desire? Really think about it. And it was 3.33 when I said all of that, some of you have a choice to make, so be really careful, for others of you. I see that you are going to be very excited, but mostly very happy. Some of you guys come from a very poor family. So when you get band-aid by your rich yandir, you can buy whatever you want and be free from debt. A lot of you guys didn't really have the money to go shopping or buying yourself something nice. But when you get band-aid, you will have everything you wish for, getting your hair done, getting your nails done, having skincare products, and so many more. I see that your yandir is willing to do everything for you, to make you happy, he is like going to be your caretaker anyways, that's all from your reading. I did see angel number 344. I think you should go google what that means for you. I'm on to pile 4 now. Hello, pile 4. What I'm seeing is that, for some of you, you really want to get band-aid, but some of you are scared of it, because you don't know what will really happen. Some of you guys are also very scared of getting band-aid. Because part of you doesn't want to leave your place. In a way also a lot of you guys are like very scared of many changes that will take place. But I see that you shouldn't be worried or anything. As long as you are confident in what you want, a lot of the things are going to turn out in your way as you wish. For the people that already know what you wish for, when you get band-aid, I see that you are going to stay in your yander's basement or in their room, locked up for some months, I think they are doing that because they don't trust you fully. Or they like you to stay in there. I see that you will be blindfolded and your hands are cuffed. Some of you will be having some back problems, just for some of you. I see that your yandir is very I mean very weirdly lovesick, about you, if you get what I mean. They would like, go extreme fangirl or fanboy about every move and sound you make, they feel like they are on drugs just looking at you, they idolize you so badly, and they will not let anyone take you away from them. But overall you are going to stay in their room or basement for some months, and I keep hearing that you shouldn't be worried about money, so don't be worried. And I see there is going to be dark romance type stuff going on in your relationship. Anyways, that's all I saw for you. 
And that's pretty much it from this video. Love and kisses from your one and only twist. Bye.